Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm the General Rome and today we are having another look at my World War One mod for House of Iron 4. So what has been changed? Uh, there are a few more flags that are now actually accurate, like the Austro-Hungarian flag and the German flag, as well as the Serbian flag, which has a slightly moved coat of arms. And Montenegro now actually has a flag. They didn't have a flag for a while. I also am changing some stuff in the focus trees. It is taking a lot of time to change that because I am having a lot of trouble with it. But I am making a new focus tree for uh, for Austria-Hungary. So this is the start of it. Basically there is a focus tree to get to the war. That makes you get pissed off by uh, Serbia and pisses off Serbia because they killed your crown prince. And you're sending an ultimatum which gives you a claim on uh, one of their provinces. Then you get to the Great War but unlike this line says you actually need this one to get to this one. So after you got these two done you will have to go through these three to actually get to the Great War. Because if you want to go into a big war, and even though they didn't expect it to be a great war, they somewhat knew that Russia would guarantee Serbia if uh, Hungary, if Austria-Hungary would uh, declare war on Serbia. So yeah, they did need to prepare their nation somewhat. So therefore, they have to modernize their army a bit which means that they will get some more army experience and that the land doctrine will be a little bit faster. They also have to prepare for war, just make some more factories so they can um, produce more equipment for the war in both the Austrian and the Hungarian part of the empire and after that they do think that they are ready for war and they will go for the for the declaration. Now I also made this uh, this national focus, which gives them a opportunity to get Hungary uh, to get Bulgaria into their faction. Well, actually, it's the German faction, which is also a thing that I changed. We now have the Centrals, which is like the. Um, the big faction for uh, for Germany and Austria Hungary and uh, who are against the Allies. Also, because um, I don't want it to be um, just something that always happens that France and England and all these guys join the war, I made a separate. Uh, faction for the eastern part of the Allies, which is Russia and Serbia. And although it hasn't been uh, added in the game, I do want to make sure that uh, Germany tends to also uh, go to war with France. They already have that in the uh, in the normal game. I also have to switch to. Uh, to Germany to have a look at their uh, at the focus tree, what I've changed in that. Um, because right now they still work with the uh, normal game mechanic to uh, go to war with France, which means that they have to go all the way to war with France. Um, so there really needs to be a lot of changes in this focus tree, so it's not done at all. Um, but I have made some changes. First of all, the West Wall now actually gives you, even though it doesn't say it over up here, it actually gives you... Uh, oh no, I didn't do that. I, I Instead, I... Because I didn't want to have the... Uh, the risk that they wouldn't take it. I actually already made forts in these provinces. That's it. They will get another line of defense right here, 
which already they have in the base game, which is a way for me to kind of get the uh, the trench warfare going to make that even better. The trench warfare stuff from the First World War. I've added a lot of bunkers in France. Have they not been added? I think they might have disappeared. Yeah, I need to have a look at that. Basically what I want to do is I want to have a line of bunkers over here, just north of Paris, to the German border. And I was pretty sure I had that at some build. Apparently this isn't that build. Um, yeah, let's have another look at the focus tree. So things that I have actually changed. Um, although it still says the Anschluss instead of annexing Austria-Hungary, which was a terrible thing that happened in the uh, the most early stages of the uh, of the mod, even though they were in a faction. Um, they still, uh, they still annexed it. So instead of that, I made the Anschluss get them into the faction, so they don't start in the faction. Like I can see, like you can see over here, Austria Hungary doesn't start in the Centrals. They will join the Centrals when uh, Germany clicks the Anschluss thing. After they have done the Anschluss, uh, they will be able to get Bulgaria and the Ottoman Empire into their faction. And yes, I know that Bulgaria um, also can get into the faction by uh, Austria-Hungary. It's just a way to make sure that it will happen. Um, another thing that I changed is down here. This is actually one of the last things that I've changed. Um, the war France, they will go for the Slevin plan, which is basically a go around the Maginot. But instead of having three cause bellies, it will be two cause bellies because in World War One they didn't declare war on the Netherlands. So they will go to war with Belgium and uh, and Luxembourg. Of course, I made uh, Great Britain guarantee the independence of Belgium. So if Germany declares war on Belgium, the UK will join. And then you will have the, the big war with both, with all the allies in it. Serbia, Russia, the UK, France and Belgium. So yeah, that's all for now. I, uh, oh no, there is actually one more thing. I am actually making some more German land over here. It's still not perfect, but it's something. I am really having trouble with making new states. I have not been able to make new states, so instead I had to add this to this uh, states. So this used to be one state, now this is what used to be this state, and this is now part of this state. So um, yeah, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.